Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be okay. We are going to be doing a cash stuffing for the first paycheck of October. My nails are a little rough. We're gonna ignore that. I'm gonna do them tomorrow, but um, we are going to stuff our cash envelopes and our sinking funds. And this um, paycheck is a little larger, as you will see if you watch this video in my savings video than normal um i got a bonus for this job and these videos are going to be a little funky the next couple ones because i'm going to start to figure out my groove in terms of stuffing because i just got another job which is going to be my full-time income and this is going to be a part-time income so this is where most of my envelopes and things like that are going to get stuffed rather than my other income so we're going to get started and just kind of go with the flow of these next couple videos so right here should be $206, so let's count this, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 6, $106. Alright, and let's put this in our cash tray. And we do not have any coins today, but I figured I would talk about them a bit. Um, me and my boyfriend combined, we have about three jars full of coins. So we figured what we were going to do was probably roll up these coins, take them to the bank, and that'll be what we're using to stuff our 100 envelopes, get a majority of them done. So, yeah. Let's get into our cash envelopes and unstuff them. In spending, I have $10. Groceries, I should still have the full 10. Which I do. I did not do a lot of spending these last two weeks because honestly, I have been working like crazy, having two jobs. I do not have a lot of time to really be going out and spending money. So, there's that. Um, gas, I was going to use, but my boyfriend so nicely went and filled up my tank for me. So, I did not have to use this money. And eating out is empty. Okay, so, let's see how much we have. Let's put this. Okay, we, we only have tens and fives. Not bad. So for leftover from our cash envelopes, we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45 dollars. And this is going to go to the side for my savings challenges. All right, and let's get into spending. Spending will be getting 20 dollars. Groceries will be getting 15 and I probably will end up using this this week because my mother-in-law is coming into town. So along with our normal groceries, I will probably get a couple extra things. We will see. Households is getting five. Toiletries is getting five, and actually, that five dollars is already spent because I just bought some new um, bathroom cleaner. Toiletries is getting five. Gas is getting twenty, and this will probably end up getting spent just because, like I said, my mother-in-law is coming into town, and I have to go pick her up from the airport. Eating out is getting 20. So again, same vibes with the whole my mother-in-law coming. And I will be adding more money to my cash envelopes with my other paycheck. So that is it. They are all stuffed. They're going into my wallet. I do not have any coins today. But like I said, we are going to be um, turning in those coins soon. So let's move into our low priority sinking funds, which is this 
really cute purple binder, which I love. Um, and you'll notice because it was a bonus, a lot of my envelopes are getting stuff. So my envelope, I actually spent one of my gift cards, which I'm very proud of myself for, is getting $10. Um, I spent it on some early Amazon Prime Day deals. So, got a new bag for work and some more things to do my nails. So in my envelope, I have $20, $30, $40, 50 51 dollars and I'm trying to save up to get a Cricut machine. Um, so yeah. Joey will also be getting $10. Joey is my boyfriend, for those who do not know. And this is saving up for um, things for him. His presents, his Christmas presents. 20 40 50 61 so $61. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to get him. Um, and depending, I don't know if I'm using my Christmas money to buy Christmas presents or I should go traveling this year. So we will figure that out. And if anything to supplement, I will take for my Christmas money because it is for Christmas. Beauty is getting $10. And that puts us now at $50. Clothes. Clothes is getting twenty dollars. I didn't. I didn't realize I budgeted twenty dollars for clothes. That's amazing. Okay. Like I said before in my last video, I just got a new job, and I need more clothes. So we have twenty, twenty-five, thirty dollars in clothes. And I figured with my little um bonus, we're gonna start my tattoo fund. This isn't anything of a priority, but it's getting five dollars. Um. I want a new tattoo soon. I've been itching for one for a while. Last tattoo I got was almost a year ago now. So I have been itching for a new one. And now into my high priority binder. Which is this pink one, which you guys know and see have seen for a while. Subscriptions will be getting $10. So that puts us at 20 40 50 60 65 dollars in subscriptions car maintenance is getting 25 and like I mentioned before I need new brakes on my car um, it is not urgent though. I still have a couple months until my oil change to get that done. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 25, 30, 31, $32 in car maintenance. So 132. Car tax is fully funded for the year. Car tags is going to be getting 21. So we're going to color in a 21 spot. Okay. So card tax now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. So $79 in car tags, and this is coming up at the end of January. A state test is going to be getting $10, so that puts us at $20. Alright, and that is it for this video for our cash envelopes and sinking funds, and I will see you guys in my savings.